Yeah, so I just finished up going through the digital copy of Gut Check. It's, it's uh, not out quite yet. Uh, and in the first, I think it was in the intro introductory chapter, the bacterial brainwashing, talk about something that I've been enamored by for a long time, which is toxoplasmosis. Yep. And I think that's a, an interesting, um, well, metaphor and reality for uh, that relationship of the, the those bugs that exist within us or are us or however you're to define yeah. that. What the hell is toxoplasmosis and how is that a relevant concept in this conversation? Well, so toxoplasmosis is a single cell organism. It's a parasite. And so many parasites often have two phases of their life cycle, at, like toxoplasmosis. And they have to have an intermediate host to live in to get to where their final host is that they can reproduce it. And it's kind of an odd system, but uh, another way of putting it is just like a caterpillar has to, you know, go into the cocoon to become its final form, which is a butterfly or a moth. The chrysalis. Very good. Very good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, there's a, as you know, the monarch butterfly is making a comeback. Oh, uh, hell yeah. So anyhow. I've been a big uh, monarch butterfly uh, advocate for a long time. Yeah, little, they, little known fact. They're actually making a comeback in California. Is, so this is actually exciting because they were kind of disappearing. But I digress. All right. Yeah. So toxoplasmosis <clears throat> wants to get into a cat. And a cat can be a house cat, it can be a tiger, it can be a mountain lion, uh, whatever. And it's chosen as its primary uh, secondary place to be, to complete its life cycle, is a rodent, a mouse, a rat. Now, at first glance, that in a way would be a stupid idea to choose uh, because rodents are deathly afraid of cats. They are deathly afraid of cat urine, and the sight of a cat will make them run the other way. So bad choice if you wanted to get into a cat. So what happens is that toxoplasmosis is acquired by, in this case, the rat, by drinking uh, infected water that a cat has pooped in. And the toxoplasmosis organism gets into, in this case, the rat, and it literally works on dopaminergic receptors in the brain and does two things. Number one, it simplistically rewires the brain's fear cycles. Hmm. And it actually makes the rodent think cat urine is an aphrodisiac, that it's the best smelling stuff they ever smelled. And number two, it reprograms the brain to get excited when it sees the sight of a cat or smells cat urine. And so it literally, this one cell organism takes over an advanced creature like a rat and makes it seek out cats and run to danger. And then the cat, of course, eats it and wins. Now, what's really fascinating is, yes, the original plan of toxoplasmosis was to use a rodent as its way of getting into a cat. But there are lots of other ways to get into a cat. And recently, and I, I want to give a shout out to Robert Sapolsky, who's a professor at Stanford, who I've been studying for years, literally years, and I've given him shout outs in some of my books. Uh, he does a beautiful lecture on toxoplasmosis. If anybody yeah. wants to pull up the YouTube, it's I think cool. he's who I learned it from originally. Yeah, like it's, a, ago. it's a great lecture. Anyhow, yeah. so other species are pred uh, predated, predated by large cats. Uh, anyone who lives in Asia or India knows that uh, one of the biggest risks uh, of being eaten alive is man-eating tigers. And tigers like to eat humans. In Africa, big cats like to eat chimpanzees. And lo and behold, it's uh, been found that uh, chimpanzees can get infected with toxoplasmosis and toxoplasmosis will change the chimp behavior to not be so afraid of big cats. 
What's most dramatic, I think, is the study of Yellowstone Park wolves. Um, Yellowstone Park wolves can be infected with toxoplasmosis. And pack leaders of the wolves in Yellowstone Park are almost always infected with toxoplasmosis. Hmm. Why would that be? They're bold. They take more chances. And why would you be bold and take more chances? Because the while a wolf is an upper level, uh, an apex predator, the apex predator of a wolf is a mountain lion, a cat. And it gets even better. It turns out that humans can be rewired by toxoplasmosis to make us less fearful and to run towards danger. And isn't it interesting that the vast majority of people who are killed in motorcycle accidents are infected with toxoplasmosis? Hope you guys enjoyed that conversation as much as I did. If you did, feel free to tag us on the Instagram. You can find me at Aaron Alexander on there. Uh, also check out the YouTube channel that is at Align Podcast. Subscribe over there so you get each week's videos and instructional content. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for reviews. Thanks for joining you. I'll see you next week.